हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ऑप्टेनिंग ट्रांसफर फंक्शन फ्रॉम द ऑफ द स्टेट मॉडल्स सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू द डिराइवेशन पार्ट ऑफ हाउ टू ऑप्टेन द स्टेट मॉडल इक्वेशन फॉर द पर्टिकुलर ट्रांसफर फंक्शन एंड वी हैव सीन वन इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मुला विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दैट फॉर्मुला वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व टू प्रॉब्लम इन दिस वीडियो वेरी इजी वन जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम and uh, you could be easily scoring marks okay very easy very easy problems guys just listen to each and every step very carefully don't skip any part of the video like this video before you go further and subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet so now let us start so this is the question 1 determine the transfer function of the state model so this is the state model where they have given the all the matrices that is for a state equation and output equation we have four matrices right a b c d So you have they have given all the matrices that is A they have given it as a two cross two matrix with the values minus three one zero minus one B is uh, a one column matrix one one C is one row matrix one one and the D is equal to zero. So now we should be finding the transfer function. So we know the already the we have seen the formula for transfer function that is G of S is equal to you have derived it in the previous video C into S I minus A inverse. Into b plus d. So this is the formula, right? So now here d values they have given it as zero, so this is not valid. So just don't consider d now. So for this formula, first you should be finding the si minus a inverse term. So first you know that si minus a inverse is given by. So the matrix uh, property this is uh, you should be knowing it that is it is given by a joint of S I minus A divided by determinant of S I minus A right so first you should be finding the S I minus A matrix then only you could be finding a joint and determinant right so first find S I minus A so S is one variable write it S and I is the identity matrix so since you see here you should be considering the Input a matrix. You should be say, seeing the size of that. So here it is two cross two. So that's why you should be writing the two cross two identity matrix one zero zero one. Okay, minus a. That is minus three one zero minus one. So now do the subtraction. First you multiply s here. So this would be s zero zero s minus minus three one zero minus one. Now S I minus A would be equal to subtract S minus minus three that is S plus three zero minus one minus one zero minus zero is zero S minus of minus one that is S plus one so this is the S I minus A matrix so now you should be finding the adjoint of S I minus A so let us see how to find adjoint adjoint of S I minus A is very simple what you should be doing for adjoint of S I minus A is Again, the same matrix, two cross two only, no change. But for adjoint, you should be interchanging the diagonal term, and you should be changing the signs of the non-diagonal term. Okay. Again, listen carefully. Interchange the diagonal term, so this would be replaced. Interchange here, it would be coming x plus one. Here, it would be coming x plus three, and change the signs of the non-diagonal term. So that's why here it is zero, and here the signs would be changed to plus one. so this is only this much only you should be doing for a joint okay then divided by determinant of si minus a right so divided by determinant of si minus a that is cross multiply minus this so s s s plus 3 into s plus 1 minus 0 only so that's why this is this only remains so this you could be writing it as s square plus 4s Plus three, right? So that's why you do it. Now the final transfer function g of s is equal to c matrix. C c is given as one and one. S i minus a inverse that is s plus one one zero s plus three into b matrix that is one one plus zero uh, because d matrix is zero divided by the uh, determinant part which i have not written s square plus 4s plus 3 so this you should be simplifying now that is matrix multiplication you should be doing first you do for all three together you cannot do first you do for these two terms 
okay then whatever answer we got then you should be doing the multiplication of the these uh, the, this matrix okay so one by one let us do it now so first i am doing the operation for these two matrices so one one so this is one two cross two matrix and this is one two cross one matrix so the resultant after matrix multiplication you will be getting two cross one matrix okay so that's why so do the mul matrix multiplication that is s plus 1 into 1 that is s plus 1 only then plus 1 into 1 that is 1 so s plus 1 plus 1 that is s plus 2 and 0 into s plus 3 into 1 that is s plus 3 divided by s square plus 4s plus 3 now do the matrix multiplication for these two matrices so this is a 1 cross 2 matrix and this is a 2 cross 1 matrix so the resultant matrix would be 1 cross 1 that is only one element we would be getting so directly 1 into s plus 2 plus 1 into s plus 3 that is s plus 2 plus s plus 3 divided by s square plus 4 s plus 3 so our final transfer function is s plus s is 2s 2 plus 3 is 5 divided by s square plus 4 s plus 3 so this is our final transfer function which we need to be obtaining by the parameters of state model so very simple right so this is this much only you should be solving very easy if you understand it easily you could be solving it so we have one more problem let us see that this is that problem find the transfer function of here they have not given directly the a b c and d matrix instead of that they have given the state equation and the output equation in that you should be identifying which is the a b c and d matrix and solve the problem it is very easy this this is the state equation because they have given the x1 dot and x2 dot terms and this is of the form ax plus bu and y this is of the form cx plus du okay if you compare this equation so we would be getting the all the four matrices here that is a would be this matrix right because this is of the form ax plus bu and this is of the form cx plus d U. so here the d value is again they have given directly as 0 so don't need to be writing that so a matrix is write it as minus 5 minus 1 3 minus 1 b matrix is 2 5 and c matrix is 1 2 so d matrix not required so now write the transfer function formula that is g of s is equal to c into si minus a inverse into b d is not required because it is 0 so now first you find the si minus a si minus a is sc into identity matrix 1 0 0 1 minus a that is minus 5 minus 1 3 minus 1 so that is s 0 0 s multiply s minus minus 5 minus 1 3 minus 1 so si minus a would be finally equal to s minus minus 5 that is s plus 5 0 minus minus 1 that is uh, plus 1 0 minus 3 minus 3 s minus of minus 1 that is s plus 1 okay so now find si minus a inverse so we know that si minus a inverse is adjoint of si minus a divided by determinant so adjoint matrix as i already told you how to write it interchange the diagonal elements so s plus 1 and s plus 5 would be coming here and uh, change the signs of the non-diagonal elements so this would be plus 3 and this would be minus 1 divided by determinant that is s plus 5 into s plus 1 minus of minus 3 so that would be plus 3 okay so this equation if you solve you would be getting s square plus 5s plus s plus 5 plus 3 so totally you would be getting s square plus 6s plus 8 so that you write it in the denominator in the next step so now our final transfer function would be looking like this C, C matrix is 1 and 2 then SI minus A inverse 
that is s plus 1 minus 1 3 s plus 5 into b b is 2 and 5 divided by s square plus 6s plus 8 okay so to do the matrix multiplication so first i am doing these two matrix multiplication so g of s is equal to 1 2 keep it as it is so this is 2 cross 2 this is 2 cross 1 so the resultant matrix should be 2 cross 1 okay so s plus 1 into 2 that is a 2s plus 2 2s plus 2 minus 5 that is 2s minus 3 and here we have 3 2s are 6 and uh, 3 uh, s plus 5 into 5 that is 5s plus 25 so 5s plus 31 divided by s square plus 6s plus 8 so g of s is equal to do the matrix multiplication so this is 1 cross 2 2 cross 1 the resultant matrix would be 1 cross 1 so 2s minus 3 then 2 into 5s plus 31 that is plus 10s plus 62 divided by s square plus 6s plus 8 so final transfer function would be 2s plus 10s that is 12s 62 minus 3 is 59 okay s square plus 6s plus 8 so this is our required transfer function for this problem so hope you understood these problems guys with respect to transfer function formula which i have discussed in the previous video so these are the important two problems like this only you, you multiple problems you'll be getting from different sources question papers go go through it and uh, these kind of problems only is there no any uh, complicated at all solve those problems uh, solve as many problems as you can for better practice and please practice these guys okay very important one and please subscribe to our channel like this video keep supporting and share this with your friends and tell them about the course membership okay because we have only one day left for the control system exam and make full use of it by studying each and every concept which I am telling you guys. I am telling this with respect to the VTU syllabus only. So it would be very easy for you guys. Please listen to me and adapt it. Okay. Thank you. We will see you in the next video.